All these cattle look to be pretty good. All except that one right there. He's not, he's not real bad or sick. Um, notice his head's down just a little bit. He's not real attentive versus like this one or that one. I'm gonna watch him just a little bit while we put out this hay and I'll probably give him a shot and I'll show you how I'm gonna give him a shot. guys welcome back to the channel today we're putting out hay for these yearlings I have a uh, reason I'm putting out hay is to slow down give them some roughage this they're on ryegrass they got plenty of ryegrass it just kind of runs through them too fast so giving them some good hay slows things down gives them a chance to process everything in their guts and it's it's just it's just good for them healthy wise so let's i've ended up i i'm on a hillside right now with this trailer i have to just manually push it off so let's bow up and get a workout this morning There, see his tail ends, is, it's a little dirty, but that's normal on ryegrass like this. And giving them some hay like we're about to do will help slow it down, thicken things up, and make it, uh, make it better on their gut and digestive health. All right, I'm gonna doctor that little black body in the back. He's the, and I'll show you what I'm gonna use is this right here. This is a dart gun. I'm gonna show you how we use it and fill it up with medicine. I got my medicine jar right here. I keep this in a toolbox uh, and we're gonna give it some Zactran is what we call it. It's actually, there you go. Anyway, let's get this dart loaded up. I'll show you. Alright, we have a syringe. You need a syringe. And then we have darts. These are special darts to go out of that rifle. And what happens, i throw them in the dashboard. You have to actually inject, get the medicine in here. This is 10 cc's. And you'll, well, this one's, I'll have to figure that out. Ah. Uh, yeah, there we go. You can put them in there and in inject the medicine into this dart. Now what happens, there's a cap on this side right here. Whenever it, it comes out and hits into the skin, it causes this cap to ignite. It's just a little pop. And it pushes the medicine out of the end of the needle there. Now this little rubber piece right here, that helps, it's a barb, it's dissolvable. When it goes into the skin, it 
it holds in there for a while until this little green piece dissolves and then it falls out on the ground and then we'll pick them up later throughout the day but let's get this dart loaded up and then I'll show you how to load the rifle all right let's see I'm gonna show y'all we're gonna get 10 cc's in fact I know that's too much. What I'm going to do. That's it. Okay, yeah, it does need 10. It's going to be 2 per 100 weight. Two, 2 milliliters or 2 cc's per 100 weight. And it's a 500 pound yearling. So 2 times 5 is going to be 10 cc's. Now what we'll have to do now is take the needle off, stick that cup holder, and we'll insert it on top of this needle here, like so. It works out just right. And what I'll do, I'll I'll pull a vacuum on it, and it'll it'll suck that medicine. See how it's going into the. It'll suck the air out, and it eventually, you're trading the medicine for the air inside the dart. Works pretty good. Alright. Now let's load the rifle. Alright. Maybe we'll knock it over. What we need to do first now See this, it runs off 22 blanks, cartridges. And we'll insert, just say two. Well, I dropped that one. Uh, really all you need is one, because we shoot one, but one may misfire. So I'll have an extra one. Close that up. Now, we insert that into the clip this is a marlin yeah marlin it's uh manufactured for this insert put a cap in all right it's on fire we're gonna put it on safety right now and what we'll do you open it up here to let's see if that can see it splits right there just pull the knob and it pulls up and we'll get our dart that we made Set it, it'll slide right up in there. Close it up. We're ready to go. All we gotta do is flip the safety off. And... Now, I want you to notice on the back side of this here, there's one through five knobs. And you can adjust that. You can twist it to the power. Uh, I, kinda, I kinda think of it as, uh, yardage 10 yards 20 yards 30 yards 40 yards 50 yards right now we're pretty close i don't know if you'd see those kind of right behind me well we're 10 yards so i'm gonna put it on one i'm gonna set it up right here in this window let me get a good shot and i'll i'm gonna try and get it on camera for you guys the airline is that little black one right there black white face excuse me next to the red one he knows he knows something's up yearns on the far side it's something about the herd instincts the sick cattle know they're sick and they'll get in the middle uh if they're sick they just that's the way they hide from predators to be seen they get in the middle of the herd and they won't come out toward the edge there he is right on the back side but i just still don't have a good shot we might get us a pretty good shot if these cattle this, this dart's got to go in the neck there he goes, we push these cattle out. Now we're gonna get us a good shot. Now to give us, he's right, he's right back here in the back, he's hiding. But we about to get him shot, hold on just a second, with this dart, we're gonna get him doctored up. Now, right in here. He knows, I see him right there. Let's see if we can, get out of the way, Red. Move, Red. Move, Red. Let me pull up. Blackie, back up. 
All right, here we go. As soon as it gets good and broadside. All right, here we go. Oh, I gotta put the safety off. Duh. Hey, man. It ain't like a deer you can... Move, Blackie. Man, this has never been this tricky with... Now, here we go. Got him right in the neck. That's where we wanted him. Let's see. See, he will. He'll shake his head a little bit like that. It, it probably probably didn't just feel wonderful but it didn't hurt them bad he definitely knows he got shot but it was a good contact it worked out real good that's basically how we do it if we don't have a set of catch pins anywhere close by we like to use these dark guns it's low stress on the cattle you don't have to pin up a bunch of them that's him right there, number 99. They headed up here to go get some minerals, but uh, he looks a lot better. He's got his head up higher. He's moving faster. That, notice that dart did, it, it fell out. It probably didn't take five minutes that dart fell out. But anyway, everything's a win-win right now. Gotta look good. We'll see y'all in the next episode, guys. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all later.